Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you so much for joining me today. For my new viewers, welcome, and my returning viewers, welcome back. We are doing a plan with me in my dashboard planner for the week of the 14th through the 20th. Now, here's where it's gonna kinda get a little, I don't know, I don't know the word that I'm thinking of. Um, basically, I need to make some changes to how I use my catch-all. So currently, I'm using it to kind of like keep track of to-dos and, you know, just in terms of whatever's going on in my regular life, as well as writing down like what I need to do for my, um, my social media, my YouTube and such. But what I actually need to do is I need to kind of make some adjustments. So maybe instead of tracking my to do's in terms of like recording and stuff, I will instead, I think I'm going to keep like an actual schedule in my, my catch all. And that's going to also change how I use my social media because currently right now I'm using my social media to write down the to do's. So already I'm doing duplicate work and I'm keeping a list of what I want to post for both Instagram and YouTube. The problem is, is that when I keep it in my social media, I end up having to just flip back and forth and kind of remind myself. While instead, if I keep it in my catch all, I can be able to have just one spot to look at. And then I have actually been using these sheets. This is a notepad. It's like a hundred pages. Um, this, this one is like the plan and what it looks like is this, it has a top three other to do's reminders and notes. I've been using this to actually be able to write down and, and use, um, and like kind of specify what needs to be done for each video. So once I, once I record a video, I'll check it off. Once I edit it, check it off. Once I upload it, check it off. I really like this more detailed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using my dashboard for what is being posted and then use my social media for a very detailed overview of everything that has to be done and the steps that I have to take for it. So you'll see how I set up my social media on the next video that I post. Um, let's go ahead and do my dashboard today because yeah, I'm excited. I'm actually really, really excited for these changes. One thing that I have learned with my planners is that you really have to make them work for you. I don't know why I had that sticker book sitting right there. <laughs> you really have to make your planners work for you. And if that means that you have to change them up every so often, then you have to change them up every so often. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to white out all of these. And what I am thinking is that I will use like this side for personal stuff. And then this side will be used for social media. And then obviously everything on a daily basis. If I have room to write down specifically certain things for social media on this side, I will, if not, it's not a, a big deal. So let's, let's kind of see how that works for me. So to start out with, we're using the, my garden and the plant mama. I don't know why I just, I just felt like having that vibe in my, my planner this week. And um, I know that we have some games or I guess tennis matches. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we, we have three next week. Luckily two of them are at his home turf. I don't know. That sounds so silly. Um, but yeah, anyways, two of them are at home. The other one is away. So I will have to most likely request time off of work for that. I wish that they were just taking a bus because it, it just helps me out so much. So I want to use this right here because I love using 
the like the decoration under boxes so now let me find some boxes that I can use um, you know I've used this one here and there but I don't yeah I'm like I knew that I knew that there were gonna be boxes that I could do let's do these ones I think these are fun so if I like put it up there that kind of gives me room. I feel like I'm taking up so much room though with this. Or I could put it right down here and then use that space. That's what that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this one right here. And then let's use the pink. The pink is just going to go right here because apparently it's nothing fancy. I have nothing fancy behind this box. Poor, poor box. Okay, hold on. I'm getting off track here. I gotta find my sports book. I I did some rearranging with my sticker books. And now, I mean, they're still in alphabetical order, but I don't know, for some reason, I just, I have trouble finding certain sticker books. All right, so let's use my little tennis. I love actually being able to use these icons now, even though I have like literally a whole book of sports icons that are not being used. All right, I want a header for that because that is my meal plan. Um, I don't know if there's really anything that I can use. I could use a fertilize and feed because I'm technically feeding. Oh, let's do this. So I have this things to do box that apparently I had cut up for something else. I couldn't tell you now what I was using it for, but let's just go ahead and use that right here and maybe there's like a cute little icon for food that will be fun next to it um let's go with i guess let's go with the carrots the carrots are cute even though I actually really don't don't eat a lot of carrots. Carrots are not my not one of my favorite foods. But that works. Um okay, so there's a lot of cute stickers in this book. All right, I want little I want more decoration. So what if I don't even know like what I have going on this weekend. I'm not I'm, I'm honestly really not positive. Okay, sometimes I just like to use these. So let's use this box right here just because it's cute and it's decorative. And I totally, totally messed that up. Also, as you see, I'm not using wax paper. So hopefully I will not regret that. Oh my god all right I might be slightly okay I, I'm trying to get it like super straight so that's gonna be the best that I can do all right let's go ahead there's a, all of these stickers in here make me want to actually have plants I do have a um, I actually have a hydro tank system or a hydroponic tank system. What really sucks though is the fact that the, the pump died. So I have to actually contact the company and get them to replace the, replace the pump because it's not a year old yet. So there's like no reason why they should not replace it considering that it has a one year warranty. But honestly, a lot of times for me, it's a matter of doing it. 
And like, I think I've been telling myself the past week that, oh, I need to, I need to call them. I need to call them. I need to send an email. I need to do something. I procrastinate like it's no one's business. And it's not like that this is a particularly painful thing to do. I mean, you know, like how we procrastinate on making doctor's appointments or dentist appointments. No, this is me procrastinating because I don't want to call or I don't want to email because I need a replacement pump. It's lame. Okay, I also really want these stickers in here. I really want these florals in here. I think they're cute. So we're going to put a floral right there. And craft knife will trim away the part that I don't want. I like it. Okay, so we've got my meal plan and then I've got space to just kind of do to do's and such. And I kind of want to bring in like these little pots over here on Saturday. Um, it's either this weekend or it's the previous weekend is going to be um, the Pokemon Go Community Day. And I definitely want to do that, but I've got to figure out when it is. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the plant mama and see if there's anything that is worth bringing in for these pages. Although, okay, I'm thinking, let's go ahead and start on this side because this is probably where it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. And I say that because I literally have no idea how I want to, to do this page. Um, so let me see. Okay, we're gonna use this one. And then I want this one also. I was thinking that this would be perfect for this corner. As much as I love the dashboard, I will admit sometimes it is too functional for my liking. But I like that I can be able to fill up, you know, sp spaces that I might not need to put anything down. I can fill it up with stickers. All right, we are still looking for I was actually looking for a header and I'm not really finding what I was hoping. But I also need, I need something for my Instagram and something for my YouTube. So maybe I could do like this one for one of them. And then, I was actually really just thinking that maybe it would be, oh my gosh, that is, I am doing horrible with keeping these stickers lined up nice and straight. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So this is going to go right here. Perfect. Much better. That makes me happy. And then I was actually thinking of literally just putting this down here. Um, we will need two because there's a lot to keep up with sometimes. And I'm going to, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's perfect. So we'll have one right here and then this right here. I um, still don't have a header. Um, I kind of like this one that says focus on doing. And okay, here we go. Let's use I have a plan sticker. <laughs> That's literally all that I have. I could do 
I could do a reminder for this maybe. But then my focus on doing sticker gets in the way. So if I can't, if I'm not going to tear, if I'm going to, if I did that, if I can remove this, words are so freaking hard. It kind of ripped it. Okay, that's okay. We're going to move this one down here. And we're just going to put that right there. And look, it's meant to look like that. So that's going to be the, my, like my little reminder. I kind of want to bring in a checklist right there, but I actually really don't want to. All right. And now I kind of want something to fill up like right here. And kind of thinking this noted and then I want to use this somewhere. I don't know how I can use this. But this one's cute though. It says green is the new black. I just really like that sticker. <laughs> so I'm looking for a box. Here we go. Okay, so um, Michelle, plan on it, shared a story one day where she took these stickers from the plant mama and she took just sticker paper and just covered it up and I freaking love that so of course I jumped on it and I actually need to do it to this one but it makes it so the whole sticker is functional instead of just plant name and all that jazz so yeah so if you are looking for a way to use these stickers just cut sticker paper over it so then that way you can be able to use it for a functional reason. It makes me happy. Um, I feel like I'm also, I feel like I need something else. This is turning out super cute. I actually really, really like this. And sometimes I do kind of get a little iffy in terms of, um, decorating my my dashboard but what what I would like to do is I would like to make better use of like checklists and bullets I don't really use checklists and bullets in here a lot and I kind of want to start using it more so this is the mojo jojo plans check it off I don't know if there's really any colors that um, that one would work. This would work. Oh yeah, this is the Mojo Jojo plans. Check it off. And I was kind of thinking of maybe just putting some of these down just like that. I don't know. Sometimes I just, I sometimes I really don't like just the blank box. Sometimes it really doesn't bother me, but let's try it one let's try it this one time using these. And then I think for the other color, I think I might do a black. Or I might just use like dots. So we do have dots in here. Um I actually don't, we don't have dots in that color. Interesting. So maybe I, f I wonder if this color would be muted enough for it. So if I was just to like put that one right there, or actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this yellow dot, we're going to put it right here, and then I'm going to take another yellow one. If I can pick it up, place it right there. And then I'm also going to take some of these greens. Because I think that the green will be 
a good coordinating color to go along with it. So one and Tuesday apparently has no room to write anything necessary. Although I can change that. I can give Tuesday a little bit more functionality. So I'm going to move this over here. So it's partially covering up the flower and that's okay. And let's take, let's take three more dots. One, two, and three. And we're going to put one right here and then one and two. And part of me wants to throw down another box, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to leave it like this. This is super cute. Like, I really like how this turned out. All right, let's go ahead and put these sticker books away. So now I can be able to use this side for my Instagram and my YouTube to kind of remind myself what is being posted each day. This is all going to be for personal. This is going to be, I don't know, something for social media. I haven't decided yet. And then this is meal plan and then a lot of personal things that go on during the day. So again, we used my garden. We used plant mama. I might use these for my social media and then to go along with the social media, I am going to create a couple of these because sometimes I just like to kind of have like the additional if I need to add any, anything to it. So I will set this up when I set up my social media for next week as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is free, you guys. And as always, I super appreciate your support. Bye, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.